y'all and welcome back to my channel today's video we are going to be outside getting some projects done as well as some cleaning and just doing a little spring refresh outside it has been such beautiful weather here in Georgia that I've just wanted to be outside so I decided just to make a video outside we'll just be getting some stuff done that way I'm productive and I can be outside at the same time so uh, right now you're looking at my mom's back doors. We are going to start with a little refresh on these doors. So she has a list of things that she wants to get done around her house, like her skirt in. You can see there's holes and gaps in the skirt in. Um, and she would eventually like to replace these doors, but that's not really ideal right now so we're just going to be giving them a fresh coat of paint and calling it a day and you guys will see adrian helping me today he was off work so he was helping me get some stuff done but we're first taking the sander to the doors just to break off as much of that paint as we could a lot of it was already falling off so it was coming off really easy but some of it at the bottom was just stuck on there really good so i was taking the scraper and trying to scrape off that paint but it just would not come off so I had to just leave that and paint over it but um, after we paint these doors they look so much better but this is what they look like after we sanded them down and got as much of that paint off this is the paint that we're using it's by bear and it's a paint and a primer I believe it's an outdoor paint as well so I'll be using it on her doors um, her steps we're gonna go ahead and roll those today she had these steps built last year or year before um, they've never been sealed so we're just going to take some paint and roll that over the steps and hopefully that will make the steps last as long as possible but yeah we've got a lot going on out here today uh, we're going to be pressure washing the one side of her house she has a shade tree in the front and where that tree's at it's just collected some green on the house you know like how the back side of my house was that's what the front side of her house looks like where that tree's at so we're going to be taking the pressure washer and cleaning that and um, her front porch I'm also going to be getting my clothesline done today and I cannot wait for you guys to see that I am absolutely in love with my little clothesline it turned out so cute so I can't wait for you guys to see all of that but I hope that y'all enjoyed today's video. Whether you have some stuff to do outside or inside, I hope that you get some motivation out of today's video. Moving on to the steps and we're just going to roll those real quick with the same white paint that we used on the doors. We should have already painted these. Um, they've already started to break down. There's one side to the far left. I don't think you guys can see it from here, but it has already broken off. Um, thankfully, nobody has to walk right there to get in or out of the door, but I'm hoping that rolling the steps with some paint today will add some protection and they can last a few more years before she has to um, get new ones. She is eventually going to do away with these steps and the deck. Um, the steps that she had out here before was horrible. Couldn't walk on them really at all. So that's why she had these built for the time being. But eventually these are going to be going as well as the little deck that they're sitting on. The deck is so old, you guys. The wood is pretty much done for. I think she got this when we first moved out here. Um, I was like 14 or 15 years old when she got this place 
and so it's a really old deck but eventually that'll be going so um, we're gonna take a break we're letting those steps dry and uh, we're gonna do another coat on those was gonna do the second coat today but I actually get to it tomorrow so I'm moving on to my clothesline and y'all I struggled so much with this clothesline more than I thought I was going to it looked really easy and I think it would have been easy if my saw would have cooperated these four by four posts are really thick so it struggled to cut through so I had changed the blade I was trying everything um, to get it to work properly and even a two by four it was struggling to cut through that so I'm kind of thinking that the motor on the saw might be done for which stinks because I've only had it for a couple of years so I might have to get a new saw soon um, but right now I'm just laying my clothesline post out how I wanted them to go so I'm doing like the old timey look clothesline that's the look that I wanted to go for but there's many ways you can go about doing a clothesline you could do some simple metal posts in the ground so right now I was trying to figure out where I needed to cut my angles for the Y part of my post. And <laughs> this was the hardest part, honestly, um, was getting the angles right because I am horrible at getting that right. So it does turn out to be a true rustic homemade clothesline, but honestly, that's the look I was going for anyways. So I was perfectly fine with that. And I'm gonna put a link down below to the website where I was getting my measurements from. Um, he goes over how tall your boards need to be, how much you need to cut off, how deep they need to be buried and all of that. So I will put that link down below for you guys if you are interested in making this clothesline. I was kind of semi following that and kind of doing my own thing. You can see here what my saw wouldn't cut all the way through. I was taking my reciprocating saw, which I really don't like to use because it vibrates so much. And I was finishing up those cuts because for some reason my saw just would not completely cut through a two by four or any piece of wood. So anyways, once I had everything laid out, I'm just going around and fastening that together. I've seen those faces, I've heard all the lies, but you ain't gazing on some. When it came to the height of my clothesline, I'm only 5'1", so I didn't want it too tall. And it says on that link that I'm going to put down below to cut a foot off of each. So when I bought my 4x4s, they were 8 feet long, so... I took a foot off of each board and that way it made them seven foot long and when I buried them I buried them about 18 inches in the ground I think is what I measured so my clothesline is about six feet high somewhere in there um, but it's not so tall that I can't reach it so I felt like that was a pretty good height for me but that will all come down to your personal preference and what you need your clothesline to be just to make my clothesline secure I did take a bag of quick creep and poured that in each of the holes and then we just took the water hose to it and that way my clothesline is nice and secure in the ground I don't have to worry about it going anywhere now we'll come back tomorrow and we're gonna put some brackets along the T part where the vertical post connects to the horizontal post I'm gonna add some brackets there just to make it a little bit more secure because I was not trusting my little Y angles <laughs> that I made they were really off but it all works out in the end, and I'm very happy with my little clothesline. So let your gun down and dice it. See it in your mind. Trust that. Have what it takes inside. Cause you can make it too. If not, says who. I could have left my clothesline how it was. I did buy pre-treated wood, so it would have been totally fine just to leave it, but I really like the look of a white clothesline. So I'm gonna paint mine white, and then um, I'll come back tomorrow. We'll do a second coat on it, 
and I will get my rope and everything hung just to finish it off and we'll also get the brackets and everything done but yeah I love this clothesline I really cannot wait to get some clothes hung up on it honestly right now with the spring I can't we would have pollen covered all over our clothes so I gotta wait till the pollen is over with but I'm really excited to be using this in the summer it's gonna save so much on my electricity bill and having to run the dryer and heating up the house I'm really looking forward to using this So it is the next day and I'm going to go ahead and start pressure washing my mom's house. So I love this little pressure washer. I found it at Walmart. It's by Hyper Tough and so far it has been great. I've only used it one other time besides this time, um, but it works really good and I've been very happy with it. So this is the cleaner that I'm using. It's called 30 Seconds. I found it at Lowe's. Um, there is also a cleaner in a green bottle from Walmart that I used last time. I can't remember what it's called, um, but that works really good too. I was just in Lowe's and so this is what I grabbed, um, but this worked great also. Really quick, I'm just spraying that cleaner all over the house so it can set and then I'll go back and spray it off. In case you were wondering, pressure washing is a workout. I woke up this morning, which is the day after I did this, and my arms were so sore, but yeah, pressure washing is definitely a workout. And I really should have gotten my ladder um, to get up there at the very top, and I may go back and do that, but I just wasn't feeling doing all that today. Um, it was just me by myself doing this, and I didn't want to wear myself out, so I'm just getting what I can reach. Um, and I'm just going to be doing this one section of her house and also the very end where the windows are at. I'm going to get that um, because that's also under the tree. And I'm also going to get the front porch, just do a little refresh up there. I'm going to take the rug off and pressure wash that. And I guess the neighbors were outside getting some stuff done today too because they had some 80s music blasting, which I'm not complaining because I love 80s music. So I was just in my zone pressure washing it's so satisfying to pressure wash i mean just watching all of that come off i had a dream once i kept it close it seems so important to have it all then Chasing superficial things, that's clear Ooh, I've got cool friends, dead trends They always see through them That's why I am ready I never needed what they expect 
Chasing superficial things, that's clear. Ooh, I've got cool friends, they're trends. They always see through them. That's why I am ready. That's why I am rich. Leave a comment down below if you were here for the porch makeover video. This porch used to be like a dark green color, um, but if you're new to my channel, we lived here with my mom for a long time. <laughs> it was a few years, and while I lived here, I did some projects on her house. We did a lot inside, and then I also did the front porch as well. So um, if you remember that, leave a comment down below, but it used to be like a dark green color and we painted the top of it white and then the bottom of it is like a dark blue color. We added some patio furniture and a little rug and her porch turned out so cute. I know a lot of you have been wondering like how close I am to my mom. So my mom and I are actually on the same property. And then my property that I bought that I was originally gonna move to is right next to us. Um, it's literally my backyard. So I don't know that I'll ever move my mobile home to the property. I may just clean it up really good and use it for, I know eventually I would like some chickens and um, I don't know, just there's lots of ideas that I've had in my head that I may do with the property. I'm definitely gonna be keeping it and using it in some way or form. It's paid off property. And I also had a well installed on it. So that's something that I would eventually like to pass down to my kids, some paid off property. So that's something that I would like to hang on to. This doesn't make much sense for me to pay thousands of dollars right now to have the mobile home moved to the property. So I'm thinking I may just leave it where it's at and use my property for something else. Um, but really quick, I'm gonna take this rug and hang it over the banister of the porch so that I can really get it clean, let gravity do its work. So I'm gonna take the pressure washer and just spray as much of that dirt as I can out. And it does end up looking a lot better when I'm done.
these are some ferns that I hung up. I want to say last year I hung them, but they are completely dead and done for. So I'm going to toss those in the trash and I'm going to just let that rug drip dry for a little while. We're going to head to the steps that are in the back and do another coat on those while I wait for that to dry. And then we'll put all of that back together. This is just a little quick fix for us to be able to hang the water hose up. Um, whenever we bought the hose, it came with this little bracket that you can put on the side of your house or your pump or whatever. And it's kind of flimsy, and so it's not holding the hose very well, but it did get it up off the ground for now. I'm thinking I may come back and do my own bracket out of some wood, something that's bigger and sturdier. But for now, this got the hose up off the ground. We have somebody that comes to cut our grass every couple of weeks and we have to come out here and pick the hose up and throw it on top of the pump house. Um, but this way it can stay rolled up on the side. So anyways, that's just a little quick fix for now. On the highway, it's our way. Route 66 and we keep on driving. We just do what we wanna do We 
are coming back over to the clothesline, I'm gonna do those little brackets that I told you guys about. I found some flat ones at Walmart, so I'm just putting one on each side of the post. Um, and a little fun fact about <laughs> today was it was the day of the eclipse, and the eclipse was actually happening right now at this moment that I was filming. Um, we weren't in the line of totality, but I was listening to a live stream on YouTube, and um, so many cities were experiencing totality, which was very exciting for them. Um, so if you were in the line of totality, let me know down below. But I was trying my hardest not to look up because they were saying online that it was damaging to your eyes and you could have um, damage for years to come and it might not show up right away. So I was trying my hardest not to look up. But anyways, just getting those brackets done. I'm also going to put in my little eye hook things and I am going to do one more coat of paint on these. thank y'all for all of your feedback on my raised garden beds it turns out I'm gonna have to buy at least two or three more um, because my plants are gonna spread <laughs> and they need more room than what they have right now so I am gonna order some more beds a lot of you had some good information for me and I did take some screenshots of those comments so I can refer back to them so thank you guys so much for all of that helpful information so a couple more beds coming soon and thankfully i did get the right tomatoes you guys corrected me on that um the determinants which is what i got i was thinking those were going to be the ones that grew but no determinant means they grow to a determined size which makes total sense now so thankfully i did get the right tomatoes but i definitely got to do something with my cucumber those are gonna take over the whole bed from what I hear so they honestly need their own bed and also the bell pepper I've got to spread those out as well I've got a lot of bell pepper <laughs> I bought like 12 total bell pepper because it was two six packs but anyways I'm gonna order some more beds and then I'll get all of that figured out but I'm really excited for my little garden this summer I'm hoping that it will produce for us um, because the kids are really enjoying this process and it would be so exciting for it to produce for us. My kids are really picky eaters, so I'm hoping if it's something that they grew themselves, they will be more likely to eat it. And also it's just a good summer science project for us. My kids are homeschooled, so I try to fit stuff in like this where I can. But really quick, we're going to take a break from the clothesline. I'm going to let that dry before I put my little hooks in. Um, but I got some flowers from Lowe's. I wanted to get these into some pretty pots. I've been wanting some flowers on my porch. I would eventually like to do a bigger porch right here. Maybe something that's like an L shape. Right now it's just big enough to walk on. Um, but I would eventually like it to be big enough to where we could come out here and sit. Um, but I really wanted some flowers and I found these at Lowe's. I can't remember the names of them, but they're so pretty. The yellow ones have a little bit of blue in there, um, but I thought they were so pretty. The yellow pot I found at Lowe's and then the clay pot I found at Walmart. But I thought these were so pretty and they add a little pop of color to my porch for the spring. It's like we're running in circles Going around every day Getting stuck in the hurdles Of yesterday Don't you want to go further Away from the fray Let's not get stuck in our worries 
Really quick, I'm just gonna go ahead and water my garden. I know I'm not supposed to water this until evening when the sun is starting to set, but I was waiting on my clothesline to finish drying and honestly we weren't too far off from the sun setting so I just went ahead and got that done for the day. So back to the clothesline, I did already do my little eye hooks. I just pre-drilled my holes and then I was able to screw those in by hand. And I just ordered some clothesline rope from Amazon. So I wanted four lines total. So I've got four eye hooks on each pole and I'm just threading that through. So I started on one of the eye hooks, tied my knot, and now I'm just running it through all of the little um, hooks. And then when I get to the last one, that's when I will tie another knot and my clothesline will be complete. I'm hoping that this clothesline will be okay. It feels like it's gonna be um, kind of stretchy. Not sure how well it'll do with hanging heavier items on it, but for now, I'm gonna call it good and I'll figure that out when I get to that point. But anyways, I wanted to show you guys an overview of what it was looking like. I love how it looks with my little garden. It looks like a cute little country home out here which is exactly what I was going for but that will pretty much wrap up today's video I hope that you guys enjoyed it be sure to stay tuned until the end because I do show a before and after shot of my mom's doors and her steps so be sure to stay tuned for that but I really hope that you guys enjoyed hanging out with me today while I got everything done out here it feels so good to have a clothesline now and I cannot wait to use it but like I said I'm gonna wait until the pollen season is over with or else we'll just have pollen all over our clothes and I can't be having that. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get off here. Remember to leave your butterfly emoji down in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.